chapter 61 باب ما جاء في المصورين chapter what is have been mentioned about the picture makers عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الله تعالى ومن أظلم ممن ذهب يخلق كخلق فليخلق ذرة أو ليخلق حبة أو ليخلق شعيرة أبو هريرة رضي الله عنه said that Allah said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that Allah سبحانه وتعالى said who would be more unjust than the one who tries to create the like of my creatures let them create an atom or let them create a grain, or let them create a barley corn, reported by Bukhari or Muslim. So this is a severe warning for al-musawwireen, those who image makers, uh, that this is something that is of a sin, as clearly mentioned in the hadith. So it's not permissible, right, as we clearly hear that. And uh, again, the, the thing is here, those who go and create like the creation of Allah, it doesn't mean that they would blow the soul in it. They cannot able to do that. But it means here the physical uh, creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to imitate it in such a way by the man made or his hand or whatever there is or even by a machine uh, pushing out statues. Right? All of this is imitating the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means it's definitely forbidden. Uh, and it's uh, imitation of the creation of Allah. And why this is forbidden? We just submit ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is enough for the believers. But the wisdom behind that is known. Because it, the hearts have a, 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 an effect when it comes to images. This heart was supposed to protect it. To make it only for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. One of the things in the nature of the human being. And the shaitan plays with this so much. Is the issue of images. Things that a person sees with his own eyes affects the heart. Images has an effect in the heart. If you see someone that is alive, moving and going around, that does not affect you unless it's, it's a sinful thing for you to see. But you see someone that has a deficiency already. He's walking and sitting and you know that he has a deficiency. But wait for that person if he dies, then an image is being shown for such a person. The image does not show the deficiency. The image shows just an image. And the shaitan works on it and then it becomes in the heart and then the people would exalt these images. This is how idols has been worshipped. And the story in Surah Nuh is very clear. They did not make these images to worship it. But eventually it was worshipped after people became in state of ignorance. So a person has to avoid that and it's enough to submit ourselves to the order of the Prophet ﷺ. Uh, definitely it's one of the major sins as we heard. And statues of, and, and what is meant by this is the uh, images of something that has a soul in it. Human beings, uh, animals. Other than that, sceneries, trees and things like that, there's nothing wrong with that. It's permissible. But human beings or animals, anything that has a face, and the face is the picture as the Prophet ﷺ said. A surah the head is the, is, the, is the picture or is the image. If there's no head, then there's no image pro prohibited in that case. Uh, anything that drawn with one's hand, it is considered to be what is forbidden. The only thing where the ulama they had differences of opinion with regarding to the photographic pictures, right? And it's definitely something to be avoided unless it's a necessity, like IDs or whatever there is. But for memories and all these things, this is how the disbelievers they uh, worship the idols because of the memory issue, right? You take it from memory now because you used to see these uh, people in your life. But you never know after two hundreds of years or three hundred or a thousand what's going to happen to these images, right? Allah knows best. And we are not supposed to, to know what's going to happen ahead of us, but we know for sure that we're supposed to avoid what we're supposed to avoid. And most of the human beings, they do not know the effect of their outcomes or the future. And that's why they need to submit themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same reasons these idols were worshipped besides Allah is because of the issue of remembering those in the past and so on. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the quality of forgetting. Why do you want to remember? Right? You we do not know the, uh, the, 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 we don't have a picture of the Prophet sallallahu the companions of Allah, the imma of this deen. Right? So why is, what is the issue of having this picture or the photo of someone to stay for long? As, as, unless there is a reason for it, of a benefit, although may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, it's something that should be avoided. 
they also report from Aisha that Allah's Messenger sallallahu said أشد الناس عذابا يوم القيامة الذين يضاهئون بخلق الله the people who will receive the severest punishment on the day of resurrection will be those who try to make the like of Allah's creation also reported by them from Ibn Abbas that I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu saying كل مصور في النار يجعل له بكل صورة صورها نفس يعذب بها في جهنم all the picture makers would be in the hellfire. A soul will be breathed in every picture prepared by him, and it shall punish him in the hell. It is additionally narrated from Ibn Abbas in a marfu hadith, referring it to the Prophet ﷺ, من صور صورة في الدنيا كل فأن ينفخ فيها الروح وليس بنافخ. Whoever makes a picture in this world will be charged with putting a soul, life, in it, and he will never be able to do it. Muslim reports from Al-Asadi that Ali radiallahu an Abi Al-Hayyaj Qala li Ali radiallahu an Ala ab'athuka ala ma ba'athani alayhi rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Alla tada'a suratan illa tamastaha Wala qabran mushrifan illa sawayta Should I not depute you on a mission on which I was sent by Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, deface all the pictures which you come across and demolish all the high graves to the level of earth. So we see in these hadith that it's a major sin to have images, right? And people worship these images besides Allah. People, if they say we're in the 21st century, this is not happening, it is happening in the churches and everywhere, right? And even among some of the Muslims, some of the tariqahs, of uh, Sufism, and this is a fact, they have the picture of their, uh, the head of the tariqa, right? And part of the things that they do is that they have to look at this picture once in a while. <laughs> and they hang it on the wall. And before he leaves, he has to give salam to the picture. I'm not lying. Well, this is, uh, some people do that. And they say salam to the picture, yes. He cannot leave his house unless he stands in front of the picture and look at it like, you know, in a certain way and then he has to give salam to it before he leaves. And this is what is happening among people in the fault. I mean, they call themselves Muslims. So it's definitely the evil of it is happening. So it's not something that is not just going to happen in the future. It's happening in our days. So that means definitely it's something that should be avoided and exalted and put in a, a clear place and things like that. And the shaitan can do many things. The house burns down except this one picture. That means this is the picture of a pious man. Then he dies and people start seeking blessings from these pictures and so on. And the, the advice to Ali radiallahu anhu from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa two things. You see a picture, you deface it. You remove the face, you wipe the face. There is no need for people to see the face. And this is even in the masajid where things are hanged in the masajid with pictures. Pictures sometimes of women and things of that nature. There is no need for the face to be there. And any grave that is high is to be uh, surfaced because it's not permissible for the graves to be high on the ground. Uh, and this is another issue, uh, and we talked about the grave issue before, that people should have their graveyards like the graveyards at the time of the Prophet ﷺ because these are all ways of shirk and associating partners with Allah. Uh, and this is something that is meant for us to يعني, uh, respect so much. And this is of course shows the, the issue of Tawheed here is because the heart get attached to this, it negates the perfection of the Tawheed and we heard the severity of it and that's how it's a major sin.